Alright, before we go into, of course, these features battle, I do want to talk about the team I'm using. And of course, this is the rental to use this team. Now, it cannot be used in competitive VGC because of the Crossma. However, in the casual, non ranked battles, feel free to use it. It's actually quite good, even though, you know, the focus here was to really make Luxray works. But the, the team here is a stick web team with both Lyrion and Luxray doing some really heavy duty. Your sheaf is there to kind of break apart some of the opponents. Pelosan is there to set up stealth rocks and also being just quite annoying. And actually can stay in versus Pokemon such as Marowak, which actually pose a quite a big threat for both Lyrion and Luxray. So it's not a response to it, but more like a blank check to just kind of force it back. And uh, then you have Necrozma with the Meteor Beam. Really good setup Pokemon overall and... Um, has done quite right. So with that said, let's hit off to of course the why. All right, what is up, you guys? And of course, as always, welcome back to. Uh, let's see, who decided? All righty then, he decides the rule. Never mind. So anyway, um, team I'm using is of course, hopefully the team I've showcased and. Uh, We'll see what happens. Let's see. <laughs> um, okay. Okay. Um, one positive trait is I don't see a spinner. And they're only like, I think Mewtwo is faster than Ribombi. Besides that, I think I'm right. So, a sashed lead it is. I'm not like super worried, but you know, we are doing the level 100s. So, um, there are different speeds here to keep in mind here, but I can go with base stats alone and probably do all right. But this is this is a legendary guy, so no wonder he wanted his own rules. So I'm kind of kind of happy we got level 100. Um, thing is though, like Luxray looked all right, Flareon looked all right, but yeah, he starts off with Mewtwo, so that's gonna be. He should be faster, but I should be able to get off my webs. Question is, do I quiver dance and get a webs? Or just get a webs directly? Not nah, stick web. I think I can fend him off. I am actually faster, which is good. So I guess I could kind of hurt him a little bit. Side strike. Ooh, the animations. Brings me absolutely down. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, we're moon blasting here. There's nothing to it. We're absolutely sacking this and uh, hopefully do something here. Ribamba is offensive, so yeah, I did alright. That was a crit. Of course, I did alright. And here comes the side strike. Now I do believe Palisad should be able to uh, to force this guy out a little bit. Shadow Ball should be able to knock him out, and um, because Necros, my wall. It could be set up. Actually, I want to try that. Let's see if that works. Send him douse and see how much damage we can pull off. All right, Atonomize. Thunderbolts, and that does not necessarily all that much. We're now faster. I do want to save my meteor beam. So, going directly for a heat wave, it shouldn't take him out. Is it did alright, we got to burn too. Wonderful. And that falls up with another thunderbolt. And that will push us down. That's right, go over that safe photon geisha because of the damage. Right there you go, because like I said, Reshiram is kind of an threat here, and uh, I'll see if we can get something out of that. Um, I guess Soul Galeo could be a switch in too, but I feel Reshiram is like a response. Alolan Champion. That's... Yeah, that was not what I was thinking, actually. 
Maybe the meteor beam isn't so bad after all, just get the damage done. Because... No, for obvious reasons, getting the damage. I thought Rush Ram was the absolute switching. Um, I guess we kind of wasted our HP with that in mind because I feel like we could be going into potential sweep. Maybe? Let's see, Meteor Beam does. Yeah, no. No, we're not there. Darkest Lariat. Ah, Prison Mama, please save me. No, no, no. That crit didn't help either, but no, no sweep from Necrozma. But, but, I feel Meltdown can knock him out. And his minus one speed, so I should be able to kind of pressure him a little bit. Because one thing that is really good with Flareon is it has 130 base attacks, and that's that's a lot of damage. <laughs> so we easily get the kill there. Um, let's see. Now we're gonna get ourselves toxic, and um, if Rush Round comes in, we go for a facade, and if anything else comes in, we flare blitz. Because it's Flareon. Flareon doesn't care about anybody. I love Flareon because of that. Flareon is super phenomenal with the gut set, but hasn't necessarily been showcased all that well. And with stick webs, it can kind of do all right. So let's see, Rage Ram comes in, and um, Flareon is surprisingly specially defensive, so I really hope that um, we somehow can get this right. Let's find out. How much will that facade do? <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> yeah, they're power though. Oh, we can't take that, we can't. But I am... I am satisfied with that. Damn, that, <laughs> that did a lot. Um, so, how do I do, wanna do this? Because I can't knock him out unless I am flame -bobed. I feel so bad for Flareon because that was... That could have been wonderful. <laughs> that could have been awesome. But Flareon left the saw did a whole lot, so I'm happy with that. But yeah, I guess we're going with a rather safe Scorching Sand. Um, quick Claw? Alright. You don't see that every day. That fusion flare is gonna absolutely sting. Don't kill. But god, if it didn't hurt. <laughs> At least Scorching Sand should be able to knock him out. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, how about that? Uh, <laughs> so, now I have to make a call. Um, either, like, if you switch it as the cross I could hope. I don't know if it brings in the good boy. Alright, so at least he is somewhat slow. I actually try to shore up here. Um, I want to see what he tries to do. Crunches. So we're going to pop the Colbert, which is awesome. I think we should survive this. Ooh, barely. Barely, though. Um, we get the shore up, which is great, but I kind of feel like I should have attacked him. Because I think the next crunch is going to be all the more devastating. Yeah. I could hold for a burn with the Scorching Sand. Let's see, he's fighting in Fairy. Right? Let's see, second crunch. Please survive this. It's It wasn't worth doing anything but that, though. The Scorching Sand, please get the burn, get the burn, get the burn. No, we are in trouble. <laughs> Alright, we're second this. Um, let's, let's think here. I think my best play is bringing your Shifu and... Because I think everything he does will knock out this po or knock out Argus. So your Shifu and go for that Choice Band and Iron Head and basically sack Sack Lux right here. Let's 
I think Garnet knocks him out easy. Doesn't get the flinch, right? No, wild shards. Okay, he knocks himself out, so that's good. Damn, that did a lot. Damn, that did a whole lot, actually. Hmm. Hmm. What I wouldn't have done for Flareon right now. So, right, bring in Semisenta, which is steel and... Uh, Yeah, we're screwed here. But I feel I got something out of this. I want to showcase it a little bit, but yeah, maybe I got a bit too greedy. Should have played a bit more safe. Let's see. All right, he lets me get one hit in. So that's good. Um This superpower is going to be absolutely the nastiest thing he ever experienced. Come on, buddy. Ooh. <laughs> that did good, though. That did good. Right, close combat. There's often two. He's going to absolutely fall here. And, um... I mean... I think this is GG from here. There is no way really, like, I can knock this guy out, but I absolutely can't knock out an Acrosma or the Sol Galeo. But we're gonna go for that Surgeon Strike. The only, like, positive part with the Surgeon Strike attack is that it always crits, so his extra defense that he got will not matter. And we're gonna get three hits in, they're gonna absolutely fall. And then it's all about Necroz. I was like, why does it Necroz me? It's a Soul Galeo. So it came down to a 1 0. So I'm happy with this. I'm actually really happy. Like I said, I probably could have played this game a bit smarter. But then again, I think I got a good showcase. Oh, yeah, he is, he is clearly clear body. Um, does he have speed? I don't know how fast Soul Galeo is. He's Dynamax though, so he's an absolute, I was gonna say cunt, but no. Uh, <laughs> but he did it. He did it. Damn, you know what? I should have I should have Dynamaxed my Pokemon when I had a chance. But yeah. Uh, it's alright. I, I feel I got a good showcase. I'm feeling like I'm repeating myself, but basically, you know sometimes you face these guys who just go out of their way to just overpower you. And there is nothing I can do besides getting the website, which actually did all right. So overall, I'm actually quite happy. Let's see, there's Mindstorm, easy knockout, and that is a GG to my opponent, Fred, who wanted to change the rule from level 50 to level 100. Which makes the damage output all the more scarier. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, what, what else can I say, GG? Um, sometimes, you know, you ask for smoking on you and you get Ubers. <laughs> You can't always win, but you absolutely, like the guy saw, that Flareon Electric absolutely put in work. While it wasn't like the biggest work, it absolutely did stuff. And that's sometimes all you need. So that's it, I really hope you enjoyed this game. And join us next one for, of course, more Luxray action. I really hope I get something with Luxray because I want that guy showcased. So that's it. Take care, everyone. Bye.